Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to have an aptitude training session and the questions covered in this session are asked by the company AcroTrain in their aptitude round. So let's begin. This is the first question of quantitative aptitude and first let's read out the question. Given a solution of 100 liter having milk and water in the ratio 4 is to 1, if 20 liter solution is removed then what is the ratio now? Also give the concentration of milk and water in the solution. So uh, according to the question you have been given a solution of 100 liter. So what is a solution? Solution is basically a mixture of two or more substances which are in the liquid form. The term mixture is used for solid objects whereas the term solution is used for liquid objects, correct? So you have been given a solution of 100 litre and in this 100 litre solution, milk is present in four parts and water is present in one part. That is why the ratio is 4 is to 1 which means milk is present in four parts and water is present in one part, which means for every four parts of milk, you have one part of water in it. So, if 20 liter of the solution is removed, okay, so which means that from this 100 liter solution, 20 liter is removed, then what is the ratio now? Ratio as in the ratio between milk and water. Also, you need to find out the concentration of milk and water in the solution. So let's see how to solve this question. First, let's write down that what information we have been given. So firstly, we have been given the amount of solution which is present, that is 100 liters, and the ratio between milk and water for this 100 liter. So uh, the, the ratio is 4 is to 1. M here denotes milk and W denotes water. Now it is uh, given in the question that we need, we have removed 20 liter of the solution. So what we will be doing is we will be finding out that uh, we have been given a ratio over here, correct? So using this ratio, we need to find out that how many, how much liter of exact milk is present and how much exact liters of water are present from this 100 liter. So how to find out that? Consider a variable x which is called as proportion, okay? And what we'll be doing is we will add 4x plus 1x is equals to 100, which means proportion is a variable by which if you multiply the ratio, you will be getting the original amount, okay? So when you multiply 4x, your 4x will be the original amount in liters of milk. Because 4 is the term or the ratio for milk, correct? So by multiplying 4 into x, you will get the original liters of milk. And by multiplying 1x, you will get the liter of water. So here we will first find out the value of x. So you will be getting 5x is equal to 100. So x will be 20. So multiply 4x, you will be getting 80. And 1x will be 20 itself. And if you observe, if you add 80 plus 20, it will definitely give you 100. So the amount of milk in the solution of 100 liters, okay, in, in the solution of 100 liter is 80 liter and water in the solution of 100 liter is 20 liters. This is 20 liters. So we have got the... Uh, uh, the amount of milk and water in 100 liter solution. Similarly, we will find out for 20 liter solution that how much amount of milk and water was present in 20 liters. So similarly, we will consider now y for proportion. Okay, and uh, what we will do is uh, we will add 4x plus uh, sorry 4y plus 1y is equals to 20. And now 5y is equals to 20, the value of y will be 4. Okay, now find out 4y which will be 16 and 1y will be definitely 4. So uh, the amount 
the liters for milk is 16. Your milk will be 16. Water will be 4 liters in the 20 liter solution. Now, according to the question that we have been given, it is mentioned that we have removed the 20 liter solution. Uh, we have removed 20 liters from 80 liters from 100 liters, correct? So, which means 80 liter. Now, here the amount of milk and water in 100 liter and the amount of milk and water in 20 liter, we just found it out, right? So, for finding out the amount of milk and water in 100 liter solution, we will simply subtract both the amounts, which means we will subtract the milk present in 100 liter with the milk present in 20 liter okay and this will be giving us the milk the amount of milk present in 80 liter correct so let's subtract it the amount of milk in 100 liter was 80 and in 20 liter was 60 which will give you 64 liters similarly find it out for water the amount of water in 100 liter was 20 liters and the amount of water in 20 liters was 4 liter which will give 16 liters this is for 80 liter okay solution 80 liter so now find out the ratio simply divide 64 by 16 and you will be getting the answer is 4 by 1 so the ratio is 4 by 1 after removing 20 liter of solution so what do you observe the ratio did not change so what you can infer from here is that suppose a solution is removed from the original solution after removal also also the ratio of the components remains the same this is only true for removal but if you add some solution then the ratio will definitely change we will see the addition property in some other question okay so from this question we understood that the ratio of the components while removal of solutions remains the same Okay, given that the that the uh, components are the same. Okay, and the next part we found 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 out one part. We, the next part that we want to find out is the co concentration of milk and water in the solution. How do we find out the concentration? Here is a simple formula. Okay, concentration will be the uh, suppose we have co component X. We have two components X and Y in the solution. So, to find out the concentration of x, you will be dividing x by the sum of x plus y. And for concentration of y, you will be doing the reverse of it, y upon x plus y, which means the amount of x present in the total of x. This will give you the concentration of x. Similarly, amount of y present in total of y, x plus y. This will give you concentration of y. So apply this formula for milk and water. Okay, so concentration of milk. Okay, here you can consider the ratio. So we found out the ratio is 4 is to 1. So the ratio, the amount of milk is 4 parts divided by 4 plus 1, which is the total part of the solution. You will get 4 by 5 and it will be 0 0.8, which means 80% is the concentration of milk. Similarly, do it for water. 1 by 4 plus 1 which will give you 1 by 5 and this will be nothing but 0.2 and the answer will be 20%. So you got the concentrations as 80% and 20%. Check the answer. So option C will be the correct answer because it has the ratio 4 is to 1, the concentration of milk as 80% and the concentration of water as 20%. Okay, so I hope you understood this question. Which, is, which was of quantitative aptitude. Let's move ahead with the next question of logical reasoning. Here you have been given a sequence of, uh, of uh, numbers and you need to find out the next numbers. So let's write down this sequence first and then we'll uh, see how to find out the next number. Okay, so the sequence is 52. 3, 25, 7, then you have 61, 5, 16 and question mark. So how to solve this? 
if you observe it properly you will see that these are mirror images 52 25 are mirror images because if we interchange 5 and 2 you will get 25 similarly 61 16 are mirror images but what about this 3 7 5 what about that another thing if you observe is if you subtract 5 if you subtract 5 minus 2 over here you will get 3 if you add 2 plus 5 here you will get 7 again if you subtract 6 minus 1 here you will get 5 so what next here we have subtraction addition subtraction and here you will have addition which means you will add 1 plus 6 to get the answer as 7 okay so the answer over here is 7 uh, in this cases in such type of questions you can get confused because one or two one or more answers you can seem is right you can find one or more patterns in the sequences okay one or more patterns in the sequences so how do you find out the correct pattern and how do you apply the correct pattern for the correct answer what you can do is you can apply all the patterns that you think can be right and then check out for the answer if the answer that you get is present in the options then go for that answer only by applying all the patterns okay whatever suitable answer you find you can go with that pattern and the answer that that pattern will give so for the pattern that we followed the answer is 7 which is option number a let's move ahead with the verbal reasoning question here we have been given a statement or two statements we can say that some actors are singers and all the singers are singers are dancers and two conclusions are given you need to find out the correct answer from the given five options that only one conclusion follows which means only first conclusion is right or only second conclusion is right or only one of them is right or both of them are not right or both of them are right so how do you solve this question let's see that okay so the sentences or the statements that are given is some actors are singers and the second one that is given is all singers are dancers okay so let's first uh, denote this diagrammatically so that we understand it properly so suppose this is the entity for all actors okay and this i'll denote this by a and this is the entity for all singers and denoted by S. So we have been given that some actors are singers. So this is the part that will denote this sentence. Because not all actors are singers, but some portion of actors are also singers. So we have denoted the first sentence. How to denote the second sentence? All singers are dancers. Okay, so how you will denote it? can denote it like this because all dancers are all singers are dancers correct so uh, this is the denotation for all singers are dancers now let's have a look at the conclusions the conclusions that are given are some actors are dancers the conclusion number one is some actors are dancers and the conclusion number two is no singer is actor. Okay, so using this diagram only, we need to find out the if which conclusion is right, or both of them are right, or neither are not right. So some actors are dancer. This is the entity for actors, this is the entity for dancers. So if you see the dancers portion is also overlapping over here, correct? So this can be a proof of this statement that some actors are dancers. Some of the actors are also dancers. So you can say that the conclusion number one is correct because you can see that singers are common between actors and dancers, correct? That is why you can say that some actors are dancers. The next one is no singer is actor. 
if you see there there is common there is a common part between singers and dancers correct so you cannot deny the statement that no singers just a second see this part you can see is a common part between singers and dancers but it is contrary to the statement too which is no singers is actor okay we have been given in the first statement only that some actors are singers so this cannot be correct because they are saying that no singer is actor okay so by this we can understand that only the conclusion one is correct but the conclusion two is not correct so option number a only conclusion one follows this is the correct option for this question let's move ahead this is a fourth question of logical reasoning it is a analogy question wherein we have flow is to river as stagnant is to what okay so you have to understand what relationship is present between flow and river and similarly apply it to stagnant and find out that what uh, will come after stagnant okay, so do solve this question and put down the comments uh, put down the solution in the comment section okay and if you have doubt regarding this then also we will solve the doubt and today we have covered four questions uh, you can ask your doubts in the comment section as well uh, specifically in the first question be because it was a bit lengthy and a bit tricky so you can ask your doubts regarding to this as well and uh, also solve this question and put down the solution in the comment section thank you for watching this video do like it share it and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it thank you